Hey, good morning. Welcome to Daymaker. I really hope that these are helping you. If they are helping you, I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know that something I'm saying is resonating with you. I'm here for you. I'm not doing this for just myself. Today on Daymaker, we're going to talk about doing some un, un. The first thing, the first un I want to give you is I want you to do something uncomfortable. I want you to stop doing what you've always done. The only way to change is get out of the habits, the subconscious things that you do every day, the same rhythm of spirituality, the same prayers you always pray. You need to dump those things. Do something new. Do something uncomfortable. It's not going to be easy. Do something different today. Get out of old habits. Meditate differently. Sing a different song. Choose a different worship song. Do something uncomfortable. Maybe you maybe you haven't exercised in three months. Do it today. Maybe you haven't ate an avocado in a while. Do it today. Do something uncomfortable today. The second un is real important. I want you to unlearn something. There's more. The, the, it is a true saying that we see the entire world through ourselves. We believe everybody sees the way that we do. I was talking to someone the other day and they said, well, this is the way I feel. And I know there's many, many, many others that feel the same way. Well, I, I know you think that, but the truth of the matter is we are individuals. We have our own thoughts, and sometimes we like to cast our thoughts on other people. What do you think about the Holy Spirit? What do you need to unlearn about what you think about the Holy Spirit? What do you think about healing? What do you think about God's miracle working power? What do you think about the last days? Listen, unlearn something. The biggest struggle you have is what you think you already know. So I'm 65, I'm unlearning, I'm doing things that are uncomfortable. I, and I'm not saying that's the best for, it's just what's best for me. I'm sharing my life with you. I hope that you will grab some, something here and say, yes, that's what I need to do. And then the third un is I want you to unclutter. Unclutter your thought life. It's about focused thinking. It's about, listen, so many times our, our thought life clutters our life, clutters our perspective clutters our attitude we have to clutter robs you it robs your soul of peace it's not about just people but it's about other people all right so just get rid of those nagging distractions and those things margin peace and joy and productivity are gained by thinking clear and thinking uncluttered thoughts here's what i wrote when you unclutter your mind you will gain emotional margin less stress more peace and more joy unclutter the last un is very important and i'm done for the day unload your willful sin get rid of the shame stop the struggle listen to me there's willful sin there's things that we choose there's things that we do we don't want anybody to know there's things that we're doing that that we wouldn't do in front of other christian brothers and sisters listen unload that get rid of that it's creating shame it's creating a lack of confidence. It's creating a lack of the love of God flowing towards you because you're judging yourself. Unload that sin. If you confess your sin, he is just, that's Jesus. He is just and, for, and faithful to forgive you of your sins and to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Cleanse you. A deep washing of your soul. Unload your sin. Unclutter your mind. Unlearn something new and do something uncomfortable. That are my that's my uns on today's daymaker, and I hope they make a difference in your life. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow right here. Leave a comment how I'm helping you. We're gonna grow this thing and we're gonna watch God do amazing things as we try to help you on Daymaker every day. God bless. See you tomorrow.